going on? It's not no real beef. It's just people are, are willing to fight to get that ticket. I was so nervous. Like I was so nervous. I didn't know what to say. Um, you know, girls from the show started to arrive. I think I saw Meatball. I saw Mariah Lynn. Um, I saw a few of the girls come in. It was like, you know, they were all coming in at different times, you know. Um, but yeah, that's when everybody started to arrive. And then they were like talking to everybody and they're like, you guys ready to come in? And then everybody's like screaming like, yeah, like, you know, we're ready to come in. You know, we've been in the line for hours. Like, you know, where y'all been at? But um, yeah, so, so me and the girl that I came with, we kept getting separated from each other a little bit because again, it's a lot of people. It was like hundreds, if not a thousand. I think, I wanna say it was like thousands of girls. That's what it felt like. But it was like hundreds of us, you know? So everybody's like pushing and shoving. So we're like both in the front, but I'm like in the front on the other side and she's like on the front and the other side. So we didn't even really know what side they're gonna let us in from the gate, you know? So we ended up getting separated. I came into the building with like the second group of girls that they let through the gate. And yeah, like, you know, she didn't even wait for me, child. Like literally, I'm just like, dang, like we in the building and we like getting our numbers and stuff. And sis didn't even wait for me. Like she just got her number and kept it pushing. your ticket then okay with your little self of self okay you do your thing boo boo because i'm not worried like at the end of the day like you know i came to have a good time i came to vlog i came to network and you know if i get a ticket cool you know at the end of the day for me it's always about experiences you know and making memorable experiences you know so Finally, we get into the holding room. It was like this super, super big auditorium. I'll probably show you guys in the next clip. all pretty much being like held in like this super big auditorium finally i see a girl that i came with and she's like oh you made it you made it in and i'm looking at her like girl i was just i was just standing next to you when we was getting our registration number boo boo you could have waited for me but it's cool you know it's cool so <laughs> we were literally in the holding room for heck along i want to say we were in there for like another three to four hours yes three to four hours we were in that holding room but honestly, like I said before, I'm not the type of person that can really sit in one spot. So like, I just kept leaving the room and like security kept trying to stop the girls from leaving the room. Actually, they kept telling the girls to go back in the room. But you know me, I was just like moving around. I was going to the bathroom. I was just, you know, everywhere. Like I was just moving around. Like, you know, I need to, I need to breathe, you know? I can't be like, I'm not claustrophobic, but like, I feel like I am a little bit. So I had to move around and make sure I'm getting some fresh air. Like, you know, and just, you know, seeing what's going on. So while the other girls were in the holding room, I noticed that some of the girls were going upstairs and they had like pink wristbands that said Zeus on them. And I think that was like the VIP wristband. And I guess some guy was like passing them out in the auditorium, mainly to like the girls who were fighting. Because when I tell you there were so many fights going on, you guys, it was fights left and right, left and right, left and right. <laughs> fights everywhere and literally like some of the fights were real and some of the fights were just like girls clout chasing trying to get some uh air time trying to get some camera time but yeah it was getting buck wild like it was fights everywhere and every time you see a fight you see the cameras running like running with the cameras like yeah you know you got the light guy you got the camera guy they're recording all the fights so that was making the girls want to fight even more because they're like okay i can get some camera time by fighting so you guys it was so many fights to the point that like I just sat down and was like just chilling and vibing 
I literally sat down and was vibing because I just felt like it was so many fights left and right that I got tired of trying to run over there and see who's fighting. I'm like, you know what? It's like a fight every other second. I'ma just wait to see it on Zeus. I'ma just, <laughs> I'ma just wait to see when they air it because like, I'm not about to keep trying to run through the crowd and see who's fighting and record, you know, or whatever. I have recorded a few of them, but I was like, child, I'm, I'm tired at this point. Um, now, a lot of the girls were like chill, calm, and cute and pretty. Not everybody was like fighting, but you could tell the ones who came just to fight. Like, you know, you could tell by the way people were dressed, like if they were here to fight and get some like, you know, some camera time that way, or if they were like here to promote a business or promote their, you know, their content or whatever it is that they're here to promote. So it was a mixture of all different types of women, you guys. Um, I'll definitely say that like it was a really, really different experience. I've never experienced anything like this, you know. Um, it kind of felt like gel a little bit. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it did kind of feel like gel a little bit because we got all the security, you got the girls like you know, clicking up, you got the girls fighting, you got the girls throwing up different things. Like it, it's just it was just wild, you know. It was just wild and um one thing i can say is that i'm happy that they had food you know even though like i couldn't really eat because i was nervous and i don't like to eat when i'm nervous so i kind of was just nibbling on snacks and like gatorade and stuff like that but i was glad that at least they had food because if, if there ain't no food then maybe i got to go you know i got to go eat like you know I'm, I'm a slim chick and yeah i got to eat you know what i'm saying so um yeah that was cool like there was a lot of different personalities and like just people from everywhere like i met a girl she was from houston i met another girl she was from st louis hey, I met a lot of girls who were actually from Detroit. It was just a mixture of like so many different people that were there. So it was kind of cool to like meet different people that came, you know, from far and who came from far with these aspirations to get on the show. And you know, everybody pretty much had their own, you know, idea of what they were gonna bring to the table for the show. So it was a really exciting experience, you know? A lot of the girls were pissed, like, you know, like why is the whole process taking this long? Like, I didn't know I was gonna be here the whole day. There was a few girls that actually left. They were like, you know, good luck to y'all. I'm out of here, like, I'm not doing this. Like, a lot of people left, and a lot of people got kicked out because Zeus did tell us, like, even when you sign up and, like, even when we got there, they told us, like, you know, we don't want you guys fighting. There's no fighting. If you fight, you get kicked out. But people were, like, still fighting, you guys. So, like, it was wild. Like, nobody was freaking listening to nothing. Like, people were still fighting. A lot of girls got carried out. A lot of girls got kicked out. And the thing that, like, really stood out to me is that they actually had, like, a lot of security and they had police officers there. But I don't know. Like, the police officers were, like, in the other... They weren't in the holding room. They were like outside the holding room. Like it was kind of weird. Like the police officers, they were like outside the holding room and like all the fights were happening in the holding room and being recorded. So it was just kind of like different. Um, I didn't see anybody get arrested or anything like that, but I did hear rumors about people getting arrested and stuff like that. So I don't know about that child, but I do know that a lot of fights did happen and a lot of people were carried out. Now, hours go by and now we're like trying to figure out how to get upstairs to the VIP room because we started to hear that some of the girls were auditioning. Now if you had a VIP wristband, you were auditioning before the other girls. The VIP wristband, some of the girls got them for free because again, this guy was like passing them out in the auditorium. But a lot of the other girls did pay for their wristband. So it wasn't compulsory that you had to pay for a VIP wristband, but if you wanted to expedite your um, audition process, then yeah, I think they were paying a couple hundred bucks for them. But yeah, a lot of girls did kind of like get tired of waiting and they're like, F it, I'ma just get the VIP wristband. So I was like, you know what? Oh, you already know your girl was trying to get a VIP wristband, but honestly, nobody could even find the guy who was giving them out. Like I couldn't even track down who was selling them or who was giving them out. Now, I already told myself like I wasn't gonna buy one, but you know, I was at least trying to get, 
you know, to the person giving them out. And, you know, it just didn't really happen. You know, it just didn't really happen for your girl that time, that one time. So maybe like another hour goes by. Mind you, all the girls are pretty much inside of the like auditorium. At this point, I had went and called the girl that I came with and I'm like, let's walk around, let's see if we can get a VIP wristband or let's see what we can do because, you know, we're trying to get out of here. It's still a lot of people who have not auditioned and we don't know when they'll cut the auditions off. So I'm like, let's find a way to audition, you know? So, um, so finally we go and talk to the security who was standing like in front of the escalators to get upstairs where the auditions were. And he pretty much told us to line up that we would be the next people to go on audition. So I'm like, okay, cool. And I'm so happy that I did not wait in the auditorium because a lot of security was stopping people from leaving the auditorium. We were already on the outside. And um, actually, I think we did meet this other security who we were like talking to while the other security were telling people to go back in. So that's how I think we were able to stay out that time. And yeah, so we were pretty much like able to line up after that and go upstairs and audition. So first round audition, first round audition, it was the pre-judges. Pretty much they had to sit down, like there was like this line of chairs and they had to sit down and wait. And then they came and called like, I wanna say five or six of us to go up. Now, when I walked in the room, child, it didn't even feel real. I'm like, I've seen a few different audition tapes, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, now I'm here, like about to audition. I'm just like, I'm here, like I'm doing it, like, you know? And I'm like, shoot, if I got on the show, then hey, we lit, you know? But you know, I just like, it just didn't feel real. And I kind of just felt like, uh, like, I don't know how this is gonna go, you know? Um, so we get in front of the judges. Um, I did bring some hair extensions for the judges and I put them in like these super cute boxes. So you guys will see that. So Taseki and Jayla were like the first two judges. So I walked up and I gave them, you know, their little gift bags with the hair extensions from my unreleased hairline. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I will be dropping my hairline real soon, ciao. If you like my extensions, then just wait till you see the whole line. It's gonna be super cute, super high quality hair, and I will definitely make sure it's budget friendly. Um, but yeah, so I definitely handed them some extensions and they were like, you know, they loved it, you know? And they were like, yeah, that's a boss, that's a boss to be, you know? Um, I was actually the first girl in my line to get, you know, her ticket from the pre-judges, you know? So that was super cool. There was other stuff that happened too, but I'm not gonna tell you guys everything, you know? I don't wanna give you guys a full spoiler. You're gonna have to tune in and like, you know, watch the full audition tape and see how everybody's auditions went. But that's just a little bit of what happened first round. Um, so yes, I did make it past the first round. All right, you guys, we made it past round one. Now we gotta go up in front of the main judges and my first round. So after my first round, I had to leave the room, of course, and then the girl who I came with, she made it past the first round as well. So after that, you know, we walked to another holding room where we waited. Um, pretty much for the second part of the audition. Um, they ended up moving us back like downstairs to the main holding room that we were in, but like on the other side. And yeah, that's where we really ended up waiting. Um, there was other stuff that happened that I kind of just, I don't know, I probably won't talk about because like, I don't know, I just feel like Maybe I'll talk about it later. I'll probably do like a part two to this video after the audition tapes air and like, you know, talk about the other parts I didn't mention in this video. But yeah, ciao. It was a whole lot. It was a whole lot. So basically now we're waiting downstairs in the holding room and we're waiting to get auditioned for the second part. Um, so basically the girl that I came with, she actually was able to get in line before I was. Mind you, I'm like telling her to stick together because you know, you just never know what's gonna happen. Like, you know, luckily we didn't have to fight in our first round, but there was a lot of people who did fight in the first round. There was people that were being attacked their first round, like it wasn't even no beef, like you're, you know, you're just getting attacked just because the next person is trying to get their ticket. So, you know, I'm telling her like, let's stick together child because you just never know what's gonna happen. And um, there was a lady who worked for Zeus and she was basically calling everyone up to get in line. 
and she had called up the person I came with before me but like um, I told her let's stick together one because you don't want to get sneaked or anything and two because both of our phones were dead and we were supposed to leave together so she gets in line and totally forgets about me child and I'm just like damn that's that's crazy you know so I end up going to the lady and I'm like, hey, is it okay if, you know, I get in line with the person I came with because we have to leave together and, you know, my phone is dead. And she was like, um, you can get in the line after her. And that was another thing that I noticed. They were separating people who came together. So if you came with someone or you had a friend there, they weren't going to put you in the same group for the second round. Even the first round too, I think some people got separated. But in my situation, I noticed that it happened in the second round. Now, finally, we get past, you know, the holding room uh, for the second audition. And now we're lining up and we're headed towards the stage. So one of the security, you know, he walks us to the very back where there's like curtains behind the main stage for the second audition. And there you had um, Cash Doll, Dream Doll, Asian Doll, and Natalie. Um, yeah. Um, also, I forgot to mention when we were in the holding room for the um, second audition, a lot of the like celebrities were walking in and out of the room. We got to see Cash Doll, we got to see Dream Doll, we got to see Asian Doll. We pretty much got to see all the girls before we actually had to audition in front of them. So that was pretty cool. And like all the girls were going wild, like, hey! Like screaming for everybody like who came in so it was lit like the girls who came to audition they were definitely lit you know it was a lot of fun so okay back to you know being lined up for the second round so okay security walks us to the back and we're like behind the curtain and we can hear like what's going on on the stage because literally we're right next to the stage we're just behind the curtain and what I tell you when I freaking tell you, all I hear is boom, 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 boom. I'm like, what is going on? Like, what is going? You hear it. All you hear is dump it, dump it, dump it. That's all you hear, nonstop, nonstop. And it was like a few rounds of girls who were on stage, and all you hear is do, 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 do. People squaring up. That's all you freaking hear. People like getting knocked down. I heard somebody fall to the ground like hecka hard. I'm like, what the is going on? Like, it was not a joke. Like, when I tell you, people left with their heads busted open. People were bleeding. Like, people were leaving with no wigs. Like, it was wild. Like, it was wild. Like, it was wild. It was no joke. Like, I'm telling you, like, it, it, it I ain't never, I ain't never seen nothing like it. I'm like, dang. I'm like, damn, that's how y'all coming? Like, motherfuckers was Like, people were not playing about that ticket, okay? And that ticket doesn't really mean that you're gonna be on the show for real, for real. People were doing whatever it took to get that ticket, and I'm not mad at it, I'm not knocking nobody, but I just feel bad for the people who really didn't want to fight and got attacked because it was people were like running up on you. Like it, it, it's no, it's not no real beef. It's just people are, are willing to fight to get that ticket. So it was a lot of people who were caught off guard, who like you know had to square up because someone was like attacking them for a ticket. So it was, it was crazy. So me and the girls that I was in line with, like when we started hearing all that dumping, one of the girls was like, "Hey, listen, we not fighting each other. We ain't doing all that. Like, listen." We cute, we pretty, we're gonna go on stage and we finna get our ticket. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I'm trying to leave cute. Like, you know, I came in cute. I know my makeup was, you know, a little messed up or whatever, but still, I'm trying to leave cute how I came in, you know? I, I'm a baddie. Like, you know, I ain't trying to leave here looking like, like, uh, I don't even know who or what. <laughs> so, um, we go on stage the second round and basically, all I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna tell y'all exactly what happened because again, I don't wanna ruin like, you know, I don't wanna ruin their content, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna tell you guys every single detail. I'm actually leaving out a lot of details because I want you guys to go tune in and watch the episode when they drop it. But yeah, um, the first round that I went on, I didn't get a ticket. I'll say that much. But the second time that I went on, I got a ticket. Don't ask me how I got on the second time. <laughs> You know your girl's mischievous. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, 
like nobody stopped me from getting on a second time. So I just went like, you know, but long story short, I went on a second time and I'll at least tell you guys who gave me my ticket the second time. The judge who gave me the ticket the second time was, so the girl who gave me my ticket the second time was Dream Doll. And I'll forever love Dream Doll. Y'all listen, y'all can never make me hate Dream Doll now. Like it's, it's a wrap. You know, it's a wrap. You can never make me hate Dream Doll. I'll forever love her and support her because sis gave you my ticket. Like what you mean? Like, <laughs> like sis gave you my ticket. Like, and it was just a really great experience, you guys. I was so nervous. Like I was so nervous. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know, like, you know, but it just came to me naturally. I just started popping my ish, like, listen, uh, 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 like, you know. <laughs> and like, I was just like, listen, I.